Is there someone trying to latch on to me right now? <laughs> Sorry, mate. I don't mean to laugh. I'm sure demons are queuing around the block to attach themselves to you. <sighs> Today, I'll be reacting to the paranormal files as they visit the Hinsdale house. I never watched these guys before, but since starting the channel, I've had so many of you request that I react to these guys. Just so you know how much I appreciate you, this is a two and a half hour long video. Ugh. Tonight's episode of The Paranormal Files, we're at one of the most evil houses in America, the Hinsdale House. So this here is Colin, and he's pretty much Mr. Paranormal Files. I can't help but think he looks a cross between Dog the Bounty Hunter and the Honey Monster. This is an extreme episode of The Paranormal Files, so before we begin, I want to warn everybody that watching this video may open you up to some of these darker forces. We've heard stories from fans yeah. and people who watch the videos that when they watch some of these episodes, stuff has come through the screen into their home. That has literally never happened. And people have had doors slammed, people have been scratched, people have had nightmares, sleep paralysis, so honestly, yeah. watch the following documentary with caution because I'm very afraid. <laughs> about to start and um welcome to this extremely dark episode of the paranormal files hey man it's mike listen be careful going into that house all right whatever is in there is very intelligent and it's territorial last time i was there it did not like us being in that house and it made it very clear that it wanted us out so just just be safe anyways good luck Hey buddy, it's the shape here, Mr. Side-Eyed Guy. I gotta tell you man, I am worried for your brain cells when watching The Paranormal Falls. Their videos will give you a sense of dread which swells inside you until you can't take it anymore. Be prepared for them to say anything, and I do mean anything no matter how stupid. And when the video is over, the stupidity can linger and attach itself to you. Hey Mr. Side-Eyed Guy, a crow here. Hey man, are you doing a video on Colin with Paranormal Files? Because word on the street is that the last person that did a video on him, he actually showed up to their house with his curly iron and held them down against their will and gave them a perm. Dude, you don't want split ends. Dude, stay far away. Be really careful investigating the Hinsdale house because the energy is like no other, especially on the land. It's very ancient and it dwells there. It kind of builds up energy and it will attack when you least expect it. So have you guard up, be prepared for anything, because it can just hit you like a wave. And when you walk away from that location, leave it behind because it will linger. So just be cautious. Hey side that guy, it's Mr. Grey, Danoff the Grey. You gotta be careful when you're reacting to the paranormal files. You know, they they don't make sense to be honest with you. You know, jumping in the shadow dudes and oh my god, it's the demon. You gotta be careful with that. And to me they fall into the annoying category. Anyway, if you're gonna react to them, just be careful, stay safe, and stay sane. Which is hard to do these days. Anyway, good luck. Hey, side eye guy. Beardo, yeah? I know you're a weirdo. Be wary reacting paranormal files because their overreacting is like no other. You may even get another copyright strike. Exaggerated screams, claims with no evidence, bullshit research. Well, apparently, his dad will have a go at people. Hey, what's up, Colin? It's me, Omar. Seen on social media that you were probably considering going to the Hinsdale house. If I were you, I would I'd probably be careful. Maybe not even go. Last time I went, I, I felt felt something kind of dark that was trying to attach itself to me. Uh, just be really careful, man. I'm really, uh, really worried about you, to be honest. I'm going to say a prayer for you, man. Yeah, can I have an extra large cheese and tomato on a thin crust base? But can you put the cheese on first and then the tomato? And where possible, can you make all the cheese face the same direction? I'd also like a side of garlic bread and a can of Fanta. And uh, that's to be delivered to Mr. Purple and his usual address. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Class, and I am the owner of this beautiful house that stands behind me. Beautiful house. Talk about your fixer up. Um, the reason that I purchased this house uh, about seven years ago um, is I had a profound experience here investigating paranormal. Come to find out that this house is actually the, the site of a structural exorcism back in 1974 that failed. Wrong. 
It wasn't even an exorcism. It was a cleansing. Clara Miller, known at the time as Clara Dandy, said in her book that it was a cleansing and not an exorcism. But exorcism sounds more badass. Badass enough for you to have it in your thumbnail. Deemed demonic by the Catholic Church in the 1970s. It was all over the papers in this area. The priest got the okay from the Vatican to come in and do a structural exorcism, kind of like a cleansing of this house. It wasn't kind of like a cleansing of the house. It was a cleansing of the house. And that's all it was. A cleansing. And it didn't work. I actually have some of the items in the house that were here in the 1970s. There was a Native American Revolutionary War uh, that was fought here. So there's probably bodies sc scattered all around here. We found uh, relics from Native Americans, uh, arrowheads, that we actually have some of in the case in here. Um, so there's definitely a Native American presence here on this on the land. Some people say that the land is more haunted than the house. So many videos I react to, I hear Native American land and Native American burial sites. You are aware that all of the United States and beyond was native land and for a very long time too. Some would argue it's still native land to this day. I just don't understand how this equates to ghosts. There's also a story of a little boy uh, and it's a true story. No, no, no. It's not a true story. No. And there was a buzzsaw behind the barn and he lived up the hill and uh, he came back and was playing on the buzzsaw and the chain snapped, cracked him in the head and killed him instantly. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The boy wasn't even killed on the farm. God, this is getting embarrassing now. And a lot of people have seen a young young boy wandering the property. Hmm. Other things, there's there's other stories told about this this land and this property. There was a, the Hinsdale House hanging tree was actually on this original property. Um, so there's many souls that have been hung uh, right at the northeast corner of the original property. Wrong, 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 wrong. Yet again, no evidence to support anyone was ever hung on this tree. I mean, this property was a crap hole. You couldn't even, like the grass was like four feet tall when I got it. There was black mold all throughout this house. It was gonna be torn down. That might be the worst photo of an alleged ghost I've ever seen. It's a reflection. It's pretty much nothing. And basically I bought it and brought it, bring it back to life so we can try to understand what's going on here. No, I take it back. This is the worst photo ever taken of a ghost. What am I even looking at? Also, since the homeowner is talking about the reasons why he bought and restored the property, it's worth noting that he's wearing a Hinsdale House t-shirt. It's not too easy to make out, but that's what it is. So this is a clear business venture since he's made the effort to create merch. <laughs> A story of these two guys that lived here, uh, the Everett's brothers, 1853, they built this house. And the, the story says that they were luring people in from the stagecoach trail off the main road, killing, murdering, them, stealing their goods, storing their bodies in the house in the basement and up in the crawl space. There's a crawl space above the kitchen and then burying their bodies out here. Wrong. Don't worry, American Robin Hood Kevin Costner. I'll take this one. <clears throat> Wrong. No evidence the house was ever used as a stagecoach in. It's all stories and folktale just like Robin Hood. Let's move inside. I had no idea that there was... <laughs> Dude, this is... The, everything in here is almost reminding me of like the Conjuring house. Wait, I know that voice. Josh? Oh, thank God my favorite lovable idiot is here. I know some of you might disagree, but I actually like Josh. I think he's more dumb than fake, and I can kind of respect that. All right, so we're now in the house. Um, as you can see, this is one of the bedrooms. This was, we named them after all the, the Dandy family, the family that lived here in the 1970s. If you guys look over here in this cabinet, um, some things that, you, that you'll be able to utilize tonight if you want. Um, this is actually the priest that performed the exorcism here in Every time anyone incorrectly says exorcism, it's gonna really annoy me. In the 1970s, he's dead. His name's Father Alphonsus, and uh, he performed the exorcism. He performed the cleansing. This is actually his traveling mass kit. So this may have actually been in the house before. Uh, Cause oh. he'd come here and performed a mass for the family, and then he actually came and did the, the structural exorcism. If you say that one more time, I'm gonna... Has anyone ever talked about like maybe like shapeshifters or skinwalkers here just oh, okay. because of the native? Oh Josh, you ask the dumbest questions. Oh. I, was, I was definitely going to get to the, because um, we have documented, uh, we actually have documented pictures of, the only thing that's been explained to me is a puck wudgie. Oh god no, not again. Please not with the puck wudgies. Run for your lives everyone! It's the puck wudgie! Ah!
Dude, I've even witnessed one. Seen it twice. Like, actually was able to see it. And one time I was able to capture a puck with you, but it, I don't think it was it's, it, in that form. It, it turned into like a ball of light. And it was floating, and I captured it, and I got it. That was the, It was the one time only. I covered Josh's puck wudgy ball of light capture when he visited the Bridgewater Triangle. I can tell you now, it's all in his head. Watch the video for yourself to see what I mean. Never actually, like, seen a skinwalker or anything, but I, maybe I heard one. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean, it's really cool. I've never actually seen one of my own eyes. Shocking news. Uh, just the pictures that other investigators have captured here. There's a guy, his name's Jeff Fent. He took a picture and blew him up in the tree. Captured, you can see his long fingers around the tree. You can see its tail. Looks like a monkey face. Huh? What the actual fuck am I even looking at? I'm guessing that's its face. I can't see any claws or tail. The face looks like part of the tree surroundings and foliage to me. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is the master bedroom. This is the only bedroom in the house with a closet. There's a, a folklore story of about a young boy hanging himself in this closet. I don't have any proof to that. Because it didn't really happen. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. There's a fly right there. Yeah. Yeah. What? There's a fly. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm waiting to get a few shot of it later. This is, um... oh, I gotta get the old guy. Buzz, buzz. Damn. <laughs> right when you tell the story, too. Yeah, a common fly on a window is definitely worth documenting. I've never seen anything like this before. My friend Nick, when he was filming Paranormal Lockdown here, um, he stood right here with his DR-60, and the EVP that came said, there's no heaven. Not for talented people like you. You know, like if you guys oh watched God. that episode, he was standing right here. He slept right where you guys are standing. It followed him home. No. It followed him home. He had to have his house exercise. Was it exercised? Was it really? Or did you just light up some incense sticks? I, just, I have to leave. I have a long trip ahead of me, so I'm going to leave you guys to it, and I'll get my geo box, and we can yeah, do a quick can. session in the living room and see what happens. Oh. Hey, it's Dan. Dan, Dan, the enema man. <laughs> Who do we have here tonight that wants to come through and speak? Where's going to be the best place for them to go to investigate? Take a guess what you think they heard. Go on, take a guess. I couldn't hear one word in the whole of the English language. It's just noise to me. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Global bullshit. I call bullshit. I'm interested in finding out what this dark thing is, because I don't really believe in demons. I doubt you actually believe any of this, but a little thing like integrity is not going to stop you from cashing in. Are we able to do an exorcism here? Josh, you cannot do an exorcism. None of you can. Assuming you're looking at an exorcism through the lens of a Catholic, only priests can do them. Trained priests. YouTubers think they can do everything, but they're barely qualified to open a can of beans. Are you going to be okay with that? I think it's that a joke. Okay, you'll love this one. So, a ghost, a demon, and a Jew walk into a bar. The barman said, Will you play the Ouija with us tonight? If we play? Sure. 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 Yeah, I heard sure. Sure, 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 sure. Bunghole, continue. Is there something you want from us that we can give you tonight? Blood, 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 and bits of sick. So you want our blood? Yeah. Who is this? My name's Connor. My name's Colin. My name's Josh. My name's Raddick. It doesn't matter what your name is. You know, the ghost is moving behind you. It is actually. The ghost is moving. Oh jeez. What? That's why I put up these things. I hang them. They put the trinkets and stuff on the ceiling. Yeah, when you said come next to you and sit down, I seen that. Look, at it, it's still moving. That is crazy. Look at it. Turn it around. Yeah, it's moving. Who's moving the ghost? How do ghost hunters keep shocking me with new levels of stupid? They put a sheet in the top corner of a house to make it look like a ghost. And then when the wind moves the hanging sheet, that is somehow interesting. 
What am I watching? Well, it seems pretty quiet, so I guess what I'll do is I'll end this spirit box session, guys. Thank you. I don't know if yeah. you noticed, but that fly's been going absolutely crazy yeah. and just slamming yeah. itself against the ceiling. Yeah, we were hearing it. It was like, yeah, 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 yeah. At first, it was like chill, right? Yeah. And then it started going absolutely nuts. Because I did this to your mama. Yeah. Yo mama! Please stop bringing up flies. I'm not claiming to be any kind of an expert on fly behavior, but nothing you said sounds remotely out of the ordinary for a fucking fly. The sentences I say out loud while reacting to this shit makes me dumber. So you're leaving us all alone in the state too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what you wanted. We were obviously with exploring with Josh, really good friend of ours, Radic, and Connor and I, we, we decided we wanted to do a blood ritual. So if you don't know what the meaning of, of a blood ritual is, there's a lot of different components to it, but basically you're giving some sort of your energy, your life force into this ritual to really try to open up the gates to see who will come through. As an atheist, I don't believe in demons or any of this stuff. But if you do believe and you're playing around with blood rituals for clicks and likes, then I have to question if you really truly believe at all. It's almost like providing a massive battery for this spirit or entity to use to manifest. And I know it's dangerous. I know a lot of people are gonna be commenting that we're stupid, but we tried to handle this with as much respect as we could. All we believe is that you just spewed a bunch of nonsense. Oh, oh. Jesus. God. <laughs> okay, I never noticed these. The zombie stripper. Dang, we already zombie stripper. Yo, it really is a zombie stripper. Are we still supposed to take this place seriously? Really? Why are these in the back? I didn't even <laughs> notice those. What if we give our blood to the tree? Are you all you all down with that? Like you're okay with that? That's like another way to put ourselves really sure. in with this place. That is so stupid. Okay, Connor. Oh, oh my God. All right, all right, let me- Dude. Well, I'm just gonna tag the board. <laughs> That's Dude, we cannot board. put that on YouTube now. If only that were true. We gotta blur the Ouija board. Seriously, we do. Oh, what the? What the f Dude, was that? the light just broke. Dude, that did not happen. Let's go take the rest of our blood and bring it onto the tree, and now we're embedded in both spots. The camera card just aired out on camera. While we're walking up to While the offering. While we're walking up to give our blood to the tree. Hit okay. Yeah. What? Cannot recover data. What the f dude? On camera, it just corrupted. Well, when you say on camera, you showed us an error screen, but it's not like you were filming the camera and captured the moment it crapped itself. I mean, to be fair, why would you be filming that anyway? So really, anything could have made that error screen appear, including you guys messing with the settings. And, then it went and literally, your light was just knocked down when we gave our blood to the board. Yeah, already something's f***ing with us, dude. It knows. They really like to spell everything out for their viewers and repeat themselves over and over again of what we just saw. Well, with the rest of my blood, I'm just gonna tag the tree with it. I know I'm gonna sound pedantic here, and if it was anyone else but Josh who said this, I probably wouldn't need to say the following. Josh, you need blood, you can't give it all to the tree, you need blood to stay alive. I feel a woozy air! Oh, there we go. Right in the Am I the only one who just finds all this really fucking gross? Well, to whoever's out here in the forest, Pukwudgies, skinwalkers, demons, ghosts, people, children. Rodents, used car salesmen, the Nautic gods. Follow our voices tonight. Walk down these stairs right here and come into the house at the bottom of the hill. Whether you want us here or not, we're staying here. And we're gonna be inside that house. This sounds like Josh practicing his next squatter's right speech. Tap down there. I heard the blood. Yeah, I did too. I heard the Oh shit. Come around the woods for you. 
Well, whoever you are, meet us inside the house, because we're going in. I feel like I'm like in danger up here, in a weird way. <laughs> I'm in danger! If you don't want us here, you can come into the house, make yourself known, and show us that you don't want us here. Scare us away and we'll leave. Could the ghost kill two birds with one stone, prove their existence, as well as get rid of these guys? Yo, did we shut that door or not? Oh, you what? did? Only halfway. The gate? Because look the at the gate. door. I, I, Wait, that's really heavy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Dude, like, was okay. the door always like that? Or I'll not? show you what I did. So I was last on the lead, right? Right. I only shut it about this far, and I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. And then it just stopped. What that means is almost like it doesn't want us to come back in. Yeah, like they kept us Or even, even it's a good spirit that shut the door and said, you don't want to f with whoever's in there tonight. An old door to an old house closed by itself when left half ajar. How can you possibly think that's supernatural? The threshold of evidence is so low. Like, lower than twin paranormal trying to silence me with their bullshit copyright strikes. Wankers. 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 We're still setting up. I'm now getting the music box set, which is going off. I can't even, we can't no. even set up. No. I'm trying to get this to stop. Dude, I don't know what to do. I don't trust machines. Ask them, ask them if they can uh, push a ball or something. Can you push one of these ping pong balls down the stairs if you see them? I always find it funny when ghost hunters get carried away and ask the spirits to actually do something that will be considered as real evidence, like push a physical object on command. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. All right. I'm on edge, man. All right, well, we're about to be finished setting yeah, up. We got to get this shit cracking. Yes, you really do. There's still 90 minutes left for me to edit off this fucking video of yours. So with Connor's previous work in the past, with his time spent as a person who dived so deep into religion, he was present at so many exorcisms, real life exorcisms. Um, we've noticed that these entities seem to target him or they get annoyed, they get pissed off when he's with us filming these investigations. So Connor has been present during multiple exorcisms. Exorcisms are rare. The church usually keeps them very quiet and they don't just invite any YouTuber with a nice camera to join them. I'm definitely calling bullshit on this one. But to really start the investigation, we wanted to do a Ouija board in the room where in the past the family had been using the Ouija board and the room where the exorcism also took place. The exorcism that failed. Deep breath, deep breath, <gasps> deep breath. He performed the cleansing. Oh. That one too! Left side and right, all right. Yo, what the f Oh. Um, where's the blood? I can't see any blood on this Ouija board. Josh and I and Connor are gonna start this Ouija board session. Josh has never done a Ouija board. No, I no, I I had like. Are you too scared? <gasps> oh my god! Are you too scared to do it? No. Literally, Josh, you just said. I worry if I keep treading water in my videos, they'll start getting boring. So for any of you that are new to my channel, I've exposed this stupid app so many times in my other videos. Any of my exploring with Josh videos or twin paranormal videos will showcase how fake this app is. I'm calling out right now to anybody in this house. Whether you're a human, a demon, a good spirit, a bad spirit. A little less scary now that you've seen this. It's a children's game. And seeing three grown men playing with it and getting scared is very funny to me. And I don't, I don't f*** with Ouija boards. Like, I'm not, I'm never, not like, like, a Ouija board. We did one at Wealthy. Wealthy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Colin is getting wealthy from this shit. Yeah. Uh, yes, bedroom. I'm here. Oh, oh my god! It's on four. four. I don't know it's grandma. That. It's grandma? It's the grandma! Does it flow with us? Accident. Accident. Maybe grandma thinks you were both an accident. He's just giving us these, these perfect signs. We yeah. know they're here. Oh. What the fuck? You see that? Oh! 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 
four. I can count eight knees and feet that could easily bump that table to make the cat balls go off. Who's ever with us right now, we have a device that's on the Ouija board. And if you talk into it, we'll be able to understand and hear you and communicate. So I'm gonna ask you this, who are you? Do you want to hurt one of us? A little bit. Oh. For the first time, I've never done this. We're gonna do two EVPs, DR60s at the same time. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I've got a pretty good idea. Are you gonna show yourself to us tonight? Is there someone trying to latch on to me right now? <laughs> Sorry, mate. I don't mean to laugh. I'm sure demons are queuing around the block to attach themselves to you. Oh. There's two of us. Just the two of us. I feel like someone's like squeezing my head right now. Like pressure? Like insane pressure in my head. Dude. That's what I'm doing. I'm feeling like there's someone like standing right here beside me. That's like pulling energy off of me. This guy is going to be exhausting. Oh. If you really believe you're getting an attachment from an evil spirit and you're still in there filming for likes and attention, then you're a moron. Plain and simple. But I'm pretty sure this is all just an act. We could play these back. Yeah. Wanna do yours first? Um, let's do, let's do yours first. Okay. This goes on for ages, listening to two dictaphones where nothing happens. Not even anything they can deliberately misinterpret as paranormal. We'll just skip it, and yes, you're welcome. Desperate. Okay. Yes, demon. Yes, they are. I'm like just on edge. Like I, I yeah. feel like here at any time, anything can happen. And yet, nothing has actually happened. But props to you guys, it's been completely uneventful, but you are keeping the suspense alive. I mean, not to me, for your viewers, of course, I'm bored as shit. He screams. I was about to ask, bro. I was literally about to ask, can you like. scream for me? What an odd question to ask. <laughs> scream for me. Oh. Okay, well, if he screams, can you scream really loud for us? Come on. Something like, ah! 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 I feel like I'm like kind of being like beckoned upstairs. Some part of me just like, like I feel like we need to go upstairs. Mom, Dad, look, can I come upstairs now? That Upset me. Upset me! As you said that, literally. Yeah, I'm like, dude, that freaks me the f out, because right when I said that, it was this pain that went from my ankle up through my leg, like my whole body, like a shooting pain, like three times. When they make this two and a half hours long, it's no different to any other ghost hunting video. Everything just drags on even longer, and less footage ends up on the cutting room floor where it belongs. There is something extremely evil here, and it's trying to gain our trust, it's saying things that are enticing to us, but really it's just luring us into a trap. It's a trap! Oh, no. It wants us to go upstairs, but we shouldn't go upstairs. But I feel like I should go upstairs. That's what I mean. I need to for answers, but I'm like, that's where the f the apex of the haunting is. Is going upstairs a trap? Yeah, it's a trap. I mean, oh shit, no, 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 it's not a trap. No trap here, Mr. Ghost Hunter. How stupid do these guys think a demon actually is? As we're sitting here, not only did I have that pain in my leg, I'm having a shooting, like a stabbing pain behind your eyes. Yeah, I know what you mean, guys. The more I watch and edit this video, the greater the pain in my ass gets. Are you gonna kill one of us up there? Dude, this place has very bad energy. It does. Like, I can- Channel. Channel. Well, that's Exploring with Josh. We're the Paranormal Files. The ego on these guys is insane. You, you don't know my name? There was something calling us upstairs. We were hearing the noises. It was giving us signs through our equipment that we needed to go up. And if you ask anybody that's ever investigated the Hinsdale house, it's the upstairs where this evil lives. The way you guys have built this up, going upstairs better be really good. Okay, so these bugs are swarming Connor all of a sudden. I think you just inadvertently said Connor smells like shit. Oh. Ah! We're up here now. Um, we want to talk to the evil thing. We gave you our blood. 
So just letting everyone else know, I'm feeling a little dizzy up here, just starting. Your light went off, we're getting stuff. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Welcome to the fucking club. I've been waiting almost two hours for something to happen. Kill! Kill! No. Kill! How are you gonna kill one of us? Do you have the power to actually kill us? Josh, Josh, Josh. You know. I know. Fat Thor knows. And Richard Duell here knows that nothing is going to kill you. I'll go in. I'll, I'll keep this Do recording. It. It, it's like it, it literally told you, go forward to that room. And it said kill. Unless it's gonna actually kill me. It's so dumb. Are you going to kill me? I'm very tempted. I'm here though. Something feels wrong now. It's on your camera right now. The bugs? Yeah. Yeah, the bugs messing with your- Dude, one laid it on my face and it didn't want to come off. I had to flick it. I'm seeing it from my angle on you guys. That's another sign of demonic. Yeah, the bugs are sign of demonic. I can't believe I have to explain this to fully grown men. Bugs and insects are attracted to light and your camera is projecting the most light in that dark room. Demonic. You guys need to study hard enough just to be considered idiots. Something big is about to happen, I think. God, I hope so, because so far, other than noises coming from an old house that the camera doesn't even pick up for most of the time, and this bullshit spirit talker app, nothing has happened. Nothing. I would really love to hear your voice or to hear you bang on something, shut a door. Can you do that for us so we know that you're actually here and we're talking to you? Seems like these guys are getting bored as well. So, I just want to say we're in the in the dark now. Um, having my blood sugar drop, double arrows going down, mm -hmm. I think we should point out as being something really, really weird. Because, like it said twice, um, kill. Even the way the demon is trying to kill you is boring. Blood sugar? Where's the claws and the slashing? Blood sugar? For fuck's sake, how boring. I want to ask... If this is some entity that is Power. you're targeting me with my blood sugar, why are you doing that? Is heaven real? Do you hear the gobbledygook that comes out of your mouth? Can you tell me again what you are? I'm a demon! Oh, right? <laughs> you holy f dude, we gotta get out of here. Wait, hang on. I need to get that recorded. Oh my that god! That was crazy, dude. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I have cut so many of Josh's little dictaphone playbacks because they are complete nonsense. But this one is somehow more ridiculous than the others. It's just noise. It's less than nothing. A double S Yeah, we gotta finish with our experiment. I've never done a double S this. I'm down. But this is like... I mean, I already, we already have our blood soaked into the zone here. I don't know, what about you? How are you, bro? He's not even talking Dude, he's anymore. not good. What's up, man? There's fucking evil shit in here. Like, with us. Then leave. Just leave. Only attention and money is keeping you there. If you're really this scared, just leave. Honestly, my darkest night I've ever had. Yeah, this has been ever kill. It almost Twice. tried to kill me. If you want to count that as something weird yeah. that's going on, my blood sugar. No, nobody rational is going to consider your blood sugar dropping as a demon's attempt to end your life, you bellend. I'm gonna go into the closet where, if you remember, the guy got possessed. And Josh is going to go into Mary's room. Yeah, Satan's lair, apparently. Yeah. Dual session, by the way. I've never done a dual session. Just saying, ever. This is I'm my first excited. time. I'm excited. Yeah. This just means double the annoyance. Are you making us feel sick right now? That's usually my line. Fight me. Where are you right now? Let go of me. Let go. I'm starting to reach my breaking point now. I can feel the madness taking over. Then speak to us. Say whatever you want. We're listening. You say you want to fight me. Shut the fuck up. No, you're going to keep listening to me. You need to understand that we're Josh. more powerful than you are. You can't affect us. 
Honestly, I am over this. I obviously cannot prove that they're listening in to these questions being asked of them. For the most part, Josh's answers are pretty tame. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that he's telling the truth. He is my favourite after all. But what Colin says is wild and the answers are far too direct for me to actually believe him. And then of course, this happens. What is cursed? Oh my god. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! oh. I felt, I felt something just grab my fucking ass cheek. How can a ghost grab your ass when you're sat with both ass cheeks firmly on the floor? I literally felt something go under my leg, like the thing that's me, up my thigh, and then squeeze my ass like that. You wish. As you saw in that footage, that was the most real touch of a spirit that I've ever felt in my life. It was even more real than the times I've been scratched. Of course he's been scratched. Some people are gonna say, why'd you quit so early? Who? Who the fuck are these people? Sadists? This video was so long. Yeah, we decided we wanted to go, to go outside of the house, pack our stuff up and cleanse. Today, we'll sage all of us. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to stage our friends? Fuck him. My final word for the Hensdale house is that there's still a lot- I've edited about as much of this video as I think I can stomach. All that's left is Connor trying to convince us that the house is evil. Oh. And Colin telling us a story that he was so sick the day after the investigation that he was vomiting all night. However, he was still able the following day to go do an investigation with Twin Paranormal. Wankers! So yeah, take that as you will. Of course I think it's all bullshit, but let me know in the comments what you think. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment and let me know if there are any other ghost hunting videos you'd like me to review. Cheerio!